Hey everybody, I want to talk to you today about how to use swim paddles. Um, now I know several people on the team um, have had some shoulder issues, may, may still be dealing with some shoulder issues. And one of the things that I think uh, that triathletes do when they use paddles is they think about using paddles as a way to strengthen their shoulder muscles. And instead, what I would encourage you to do is to not think about strengthening at all. That's not why we're using paddles. We want to use paddles to improve our strokes, specifically the catch part of the stroke, the holding the water part of the stroke. So just today I went swimming and I paid a lot of attention to what I do when I use paddles. And the first thing that I do is I actually slow down my stroke. And the reason I slow down my stroke is I want to take that extra pressure off of the shoulder. Um, so when I'm using paddles, I'm specifically just working on holding the water. So when I, when I get out here with the paddle, what I want to do is just maintain that pressure so that as I go through, I have that pressure on the water. And you'll feel that pressure build up. And then typically what happens in our swimming without a paddle or with a paddle is we get to that pressure and then it gets to be where we're uncomfortable. And so we drop our elbow and you can see the hand raise up and then we slide through the water like that. So that releases that pressure on the hand. So when you're using the paddle, get into this catch position and then hold that pressure on the water through your stroke. Okay, now you'll also see on this paddle that I've taken off the wrist strap. And that is uh, very intentional. When you have the wrist straps on, it doesn't allow you to have, force you to maintain pressure with your fingertips. So if you have a lazy paddle stroke and you go like this, this part of the paddle often opens up. But when you take the wrist strap off, and then you have this here, you're forced to take your fingertips here, I'm gonna wiggle them, and press down on the tip of the paddle to keep the paddle down through the stroke. Okay, so when you swim with paddles, swim slower. Uh, don't worry about your pace at all. And then the point of them is just to emphasize this catch and see if you feel a difference in your shoulders. Um, with the way that you normally swim with paddles. And if you haven't been swimming with paddles because you have a shoulder injury, then just try this for like 50 yards and see how it feels and see if it feels different. If you can get to where you're swimming with paddles and it does not load up your shoulder or cause pain, then I would encourage you to use them because it can improve your stroke. So when I use paddles, there's not a lot of yardage that I use paddles. It'll be a little bit in the warm up, and then a little bit peppered throughout the workout. And every time in my, on the workouts that I write for you guys, every time you see paddles, um, that's not to develop strength, that's not to swim fast, it's to develop the feel and the efficiency of your catch. So that when you take the paddles off, and this is a good thing to do, every time after you're done swimming with the paddles in the workout, you know, the next 25, 50 yards, really try to get your hand to feel like a paddle. So see if you can get your hand to feel nice and strong, just as if you have a paddle on and you're holding that water through your stroke. All right, try that out, and I'd love to have some feedback with how that works for you guys. Thanks.